So in today's video, we're talking all about glycolysis, the reaction that kicks off aerobic and anaerobic respiration, resulting in the formation of pyruvate from glucose. What happens to NAD? How much ATP is produced? And how does it fit into the wider context of anaerobic and aerobic respiration? Hit the like button if you like this video, guys, and let's get into it. So let's talk about glycolysis, guys. I'm going to take you through exactly what you need to know. So first of all, glycolysis starts off both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Glycolysis is where one six carbon glucose molecule is split into two free carbon molecules of pyruvate. Now glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of cells and you can actually see here we're outside of the mitochondria. It happens in the cytoplasm. So first of all, glycolysis occurs at the beginning of both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Stage one is phosphorylation and stage two is oxidation. Phosphorylation involves the following. Glucose is converted into glucose phosphate using a phosphate from ATP. And we can see there that the ATP, adenosine triphosphate, has gone to adenosine diphosphate. Next, glucose phosphate is converted into hexose bisphosphate, bi meaning two. So think of a bicycle having two wheels, well bisphosphate has two phosphates. And we can see that the ATP has gone to ADP. So we've had two phosphates attached to our glucose. And you can see there that I've labeled this part of the the reaction as phosphorylation. So number one, glucose is phosphorylated using a phosphate from ATP. And we can see that at the top here where glucose is converted into glucose phosphate and ATP is converted into ADP. Now ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate, which means free. Think of a tricycle having free wheels or triphosphate has free phosphates. It's then converted into adenosine diphosphate, and di means two. So think of carbon dioxide that has two oxygens. Well, adenosine diphosphate has two phosphates, so it's lost a phosphate there. Next, glucose phosphate is then phosphorylated using a phosphate from a second ATP. And yes, I have mentioned the word phosphate quite a few times there, which is why this part of the process is called phosphorylation. So... Hexose bisphosphate is then hydrolyzed into two molecules of TP. The next stage is oxidation. So here, two times triose phosphate is oxidized. Now remember, oxidation is loss of electrons or protons. So in this case, two lots of NAD is used to make two lots of NADH. So that means two of our coenzymes, NAD, have gained protons. So that's then led to the formation of two lots of pyruvate. Also, four ATP are produced, and that gives us an overall net gain of two ATP, because we use two ATP at the start, and we produce four ATP at the end, so we have a net gain of two ATP. Now, just a little note, in aerobic respiration, the reduced NAD, also known as NADH, enters oxidative phosphorylation. And the two times pyruvate, which we can see at the bottom here, they're going to enter the link reaction. Now, glucose has six carbons. And if I just move myself here, we can see that pyruvate has three carbons. So the six carbon glucose has been split into two free carbon molecules of pyruvate. Now another note is that in anaerobic respiration, pyruvate is converted either into lactate or ethanol, depending on whether it's the lactate pathway or the ethanol pathway. More information on that is in some of my other videos. So let's have a go at some exam questions so you can see how you can apply your knowledge of glycolysis to the exam. Number one, give the location of glycolysis. So pause the video and I'll go through the answer. So the answer is the cytoplasm. Number two, 
Describe what ATP is used for in glycolysis. The answer is it phosphorylates glucose into glucose phosphate for one mark. The next mark is for saying it phosphorylates glucose phosphate, forming hexose bisphosphate. Question three. What is the net gain of ATP following glycolysis? The answer is two times ATP. Right guys, another short and sweet video there. Like, comment and subscribe if you learned something and I will see you in the next one.